Long years of drought have enabled Africa's Sahara Desert to gain a foothold in some of Mauritania's cities. NHK World's Jean-Baptiste Niad reports on the community fighting off the sands before they claim the whole city. The ancient city of Shingeti sits in central Mauritania beside the Sahara Desert. Around this time of year, violent sandstorms and whirlwinds blow through the city. These have intensified the desertification in recent years, putting the city at risk of being buried under the sand. What you could see behind me is the roof of a house. It's completely buried under the sand. Dunes have formed right in the city. A severe sandstorm can bury houses under three meters of sand. The city has been under threat from the encroaching dunes. Sand is the biggest hazard to our way of life. Desertification has forced people out of homes, people they have lived in for generations. Sraïr Cher had to abandon her home. For the past three years, the 60-year-old basket weaver has had to live in temporary housing with the daughter, husband and their two children. Her six-dollar monthly income from weaving baskets out of palm trees comes nowhere near covering the cost building a new home. Sraïr takes us to her former house. Sand covers the house right up to the window frame. There is almost no possibility she can return to her home. I would like to return home as soon as possible, but I have no way of removing all the sand. Every year in Mauritania, drought turns 1,000 hectares of land into a desert. The government drew up a response plan three years ago to create a 15-kilometer green belt around some of the city. The government began spreading plant seeds from the air. The scheme includes planting acacia sapling during the rainy season a once-year event that is the only source of water. Little by little, the measures have yielded good results, actually turning the desert green in some areas. I was born here, so I would like to protect the city from desertification. By stopping the sand and protecting the basic infrastructure, we are trying to improve people's lives. In a slow and difficult struggle, Mauritanians try to keep the desert sands from burying their homes. Jean-Baptiste Niard, NHK World, Mauritania. Other countries encircling the Sahara also face desertification. The 11 countries surrounding the Sahara are planning to build a 7,600-kilometer green belt. This project, called the Great Green Wall, is estimated to cost over $14 billion. So the government is asking the international community for help.